student at John Cabot Academy in Bristol. It's one of the new generations of academies. It's a great school. Learning is fun here and it's all based around technology. We've been an academy for around 18 months. We were one of the first 15 CTCs. Um, since becoming an academy, we've worked closely with a partner school, um, and now we're able to share all of our resources, in particular our, our use of ICT. Our virtual learning environment has really come on over the last 18 months, and we do have students from our other school using the same technologies that we've developed in-house. You've used another operating system. You've used the Mac one, OS X. Well, we're going to use another operating system today, guys. These mini books have all got Linux installed. Go on, tell me the main difference between the Linux operating system and Windows XP. It's open source software. We use technology in every lesson, even in PE. Today, we're doing high jump. purposes for them to be able to get an idea of what their performance looks like. I think especially with the high jump we have no idea what we actually look like in the air or what we're actually doing. So to be able to see yourself on you know, screen is not only engaging for the students and it's a bit of fun, it makes a lot more sense and it makes it a lot more sort of real. From year 7 we use all different kinds of technologies. In this lesson we have been using Bluetooth and dongles to transfer our work to our ePortfolios. The mobile phone technology, it just makes sense for them to use it within school. Not to ban that in school, but rather embrace it as one of the most cost-effective resources that we can use in the classroom and one of the best resources that we can use um, to encompass a much broader range of teaching styles and learning styles. We can also access our self-assessment options. Both teachers and students can monitor our progress. It's a fun and easy way to keep up to date. DeepIFL is an online system for students to tell us how well they think they've met a particular learning objective, assess themselves as red, amber or green depending on how they feel, and the teacher can collate that data to decide where the lesson's going to go next. We've still got about 38% of the class that does understand it. Can you just be sure that you've updated DeepAFL so I've got a real up-to-date picture? We feel that the information on DeepAFL is really valuable and we'd like to share it with as many people responsible for our learners' education as possible. So we have a screen where teachers can search for a particular student and view their self-assessment record either as a brief summary or drill down into much more detailed information. It's interesting to see how many teachers use that appearance evenings too. It really informs a conversation about how that student feels about their learning. We've been learning about magnets and Bluetooth dongles. Magnets is in science and Bluetooth dongles is in CCC. And on DPFL, we can assess ourselves. I can't do this, I think I can do this, and I can do this. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. okay. I can look at all her progress through her work in most subjects at the moment, um, and see where she needs some help maybe, or where she's excelling. So have you got to fill in these where it says select your level? Is that yeah, because I know that I click I can do this and update, we can use that for at home. Without that, I would have to wait till the next parents evening. It's really good being able to share with my parents. It's a good way for them to find out what I've been up to.